Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. In the last part, we learned all the insults we have to know to take on Swordmaster Carla. In this part, we're going to actually go and try and beat her up. <laughs> beat, not beat her up, but we need to beat her to do the final trial. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission. I love her voice actress. Which I surely didn't give you. She's really good, like she has this great authoritative tone. My name is Guybrush Tiefel. I've come to kill you. <laughs> Nothing like being honest. He sounds so, like, confident. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Captain Let's Smirk! That's over. his name. Sid Smirk. <laughs> my last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. Okay, now, this is where you might get, like unsettled because she won't she actually won't say any of the insults that the other pirates said so the really clever thing and the thing that I love is what you've got to do is you've got to think and apply the comebacks that you learned for other insults to the new insults that she'll use so when she said her last battle ended with her hands covered in blood then the answer that you say for that is this one I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. <laughs> Do you know? Because it's still applicable. So you've got to, like, think and try and think of a comeback that will apply to her new one. I see people like you passed out on tavern floors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now, I don't know definite. I presume that the answer to that is the one about the janitor. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Oh. Oh, maybe that was, like, the before they smell your Every breath one. Every word you say to me is stupid. Every um, let me see. That might be the... This one. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. <laughs> I just think it's brilliant. Like, I just... Like, however good it would have been... My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. Oh, maybe that's the one with the janitor. That one. So you got that job as a janitor <laughs> after all. Because she's feared in every dirty corner. <laughs> no one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. Okay, wait a second. You run that fast? <laughs> Mom, we must have her soon. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. Um, okay, maybe that's the one about the cow. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Did we win? I give up. Oh, we got you her. Win. Well, like, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here, this should convince them. What do we get? Another t-shirt? It says, I beat the Swordmaster. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just think that's brilliant, because however amazing and hilarious it would have been, to, like, beat her with insults that you learned from the pirates. The added dimension of kind of having to apply those comebacks to completely new insults that might give them a whole new meaning is even more brilliant. Do that kind of way. I just think it's hilarious. I love it. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing more to do than to just show the pirate elders our new t-shirt. That didn't take any amount of time at all. So I can go back to the village here. Go back to the scum bar. And that didn't take any time at all. What's that ghosty, ghostly ship? Um, just a guess here, guys, but I'm gonna kind of say this doesn't seem good. What was that? My question exactly. I'm so confused. Oh, the Ice King. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! <gasps> what? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. The chuck? Oh, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Wait a second, yeah, here we go. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Yeah, Ice King. Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. Where did they go? Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. TM. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. I'll do hey, it. Good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. <laughs> and no. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Okay, thanks anyway, old man. 
Let's have a look at this here note. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Ooh. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> Not exactly a novelist, our LeChuck, is he? Oh, well. Well, like, get out of that inventory. Man, we just, like, finished the three trials. We were going to get some off Governor Elaine because we finished the trials. And then, like, we just find out she's been kidnapped by that pirate asshat ghost LeChuck or whatever. Hey, where are all the pirates? <laughs> Who's crying? The fabulous pirate elders or whatever? Where's everyone gone? Where are the, where are the elders? And what's wrong with blubber guts here? Well, yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong, old sot? <laughs> the governor is gone. True that. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. Is that his tongue <laughs> flying out of his mouth? And spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> What do you mean your business? What'll become of what Elaine? What do to save her? <laughs> you must get a ship and go after her. Ship? The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. <laughs> All you need to do is find a way there. Gotta find a ship, eh? Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell him I sent you. We're old friends. There's this, like, there's this tire place in Balancholic called Smiley's Tires. And on the ad for, like, on their ad in the paper, it said, Smiley's Tires, bring the whole family. I mean, like, why would you bring your whole family to buy tires? It's just ridiculous. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. Why not? An old war injury. <laughs> I believe I'm it. I'm sure you understand. Thousands wouldn't. Oh. Get me a drink. Get your own drink. <laughs> Jeez. Some barman right. you are. I'm off. Good luck. Be well, sure to wear your mittens. <laughs> and your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Why would we write to Bye you? Now. Why would we write to this fatso? I mean, like, he won't come to us, like, wish us to save Elaine. He won't join our motley crew. Jeez, like, walk to the door. Man, we gotta get on saving the governor. We gotta get ourselves a ship. Well, no, that's not the way we're gonna go to get a ship. You don't have to talk to Barbara. <laughs> he just sounds so. I lo like. I say that so much, and it does like, it, and it never makes sense when I say it. It's just like, what all I'm doing is like channeling Beetlejuice's frustration, because he sounds so frustrated when he says that. Because I mean, she's af Lydia's after saying. Beetlejuice twice, and he all he needs is for her to say it one more time, and then she just goes, hmm, I think I'd better talk to Bar. And he's just like, he's just so frustrated, and he's just like, you don't need to talk to Bar. -Bar. <laughs> it's really funny. Well, he said, go to Stan's used ship emporium, Mr. Megorium's wonder emporium. If we want to get our hands on um something that can cruise the ocean waves. I'm hoping this won't take too long. Howdy! Oh jeez, look at this dummy. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. Yeah, I bet what you would. What sort of craft are you looking for? A boat! Big, little, slow. <laughs> you want it? I got it. Anything I, I have is yours, I'll my friend. It. As long as you have I'll enough you rupees. That you're happy with. <sighs> I bet you will. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But this I guy... know you're gonna leave here happy today. Shut up! How do I know? <laughs> Just look at all these ships. <laughs> I've got something for everyone. This Come, guy... Take a look around. This guy is so annoying. He's just the most annoying character in any game ever. He just never shuts up. So tell me, 
What are you interested in looking at today? A boat. Um, let me see. Um. I don't really have that much to spend. Yeah, I don't really. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. <laughs> I love the way the one with the oars has says like fuel economy because obviously you row it yourself. <laughs> it's just like it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that one in the back doesn't look too bad. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, Ooh. the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island. TM. And come back with anyone aboard left alive. Wow. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of the ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Your fate? A mystery. Ooh. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? chimps? Who brought a chimp? There any chimps in the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Tigers in Africa! Anyway, <laughs> this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Ch just listen, how much just would like, you looking to spend today? Just cut the crap and let me buy a boat. Um actually I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry kid, neither a borrower nor a lender be. Ah, shut up. That's just old Stan's philosophy. Yeah, if you've right. got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Job, Unless, eh? of course, you've already got some other means of financing. The word of the day is job. G O B job. Every time I come in here, you're in the refrigerator, eating all the chitlins, eating all the collard greens, eating all the pig's feet. I want pig's feet! All I have is this rubber chicken. <laughs> is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? Sure is. I already got one of those. What? <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Uh, not at the moment, unfortunately. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing Shut wrong up. with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? Um, I don't think we can sh see anything at the moment. Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. I bet you don't. Bye now. You're like that guy in that episode of The Simpsons where Homer buys the camper van. And like, Homer like buys this piece of shit beat up camper van from like, and like the guy is there still going like, you where'd you come card. from? And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. Extra strong magnetic compass. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. Okay. I'll be right here. We get it. Come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. Yeah. Well, look, they're, they're moving fast today. No, they're not, yes, because there are no really. pirates left Can on the entire island that are going to buy any of your crummy ships. So shut up. He'll be back. Yeah, I will like, when I have money. Just shut up. He's like the most annoying character in any game ever. Better make it back to the village and end off this video. That guy just wouldn't shut up. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, and that guy was there, like, trying to sell him the crappy camper van, and Homer was like, Oh, go away with your scheduled scan! That'll probably, co like, pop up on the recording as well. And he was there like, I had a guy in here just this morning looking at the same one. Like, he was just, like, completely swindling him, and Homer was like, Oh no! <laughs> oh. Man, we were ending in, like, the very same place we ended a couple of videos ago, but that doesn't matter. Um... I suppose in this part we got a lot done actually. In the next part, we're gonna go to the shopkeeper, see about getting um a job, a J O B job, to try and like buy a boat to go and save Elaine. 
Um, so yeah, see you next time, and thanks a million for watching, guys.